Hello there again. Uh, welcome back to the Full Octave Music Channel. I had a little bit of a playing experience today. I went to an assisted living facility and played um, some songs for the residents there. Uh, they said that they were truly enjoying um, the uh, day for the music. But I made quite a few mistakes, and naturally, when you're in the process of learning to become more and more proficient in anything you do, you're going to make mistakes along the way. Uh, but the thing that I am seeing through the process of what I'm involving myself in is that Putting yourself out there in front of a group of people, knowing that you probably aren't going to sound very professional, is a difficult thing to do. However, the caveat to that is that it can drive you to be more dedicated in your practice, more aware of the things that you're doing wrong and how you're doing them wrong. For me, most of my issues that I have in regards to playing any of the stringed instruments is that I have clumsiness with my fingers and a lot of times I'll hit the fret right on the fret. Naturally, this particular ukulele's neck is uh, considerably uh, easier to play than other ukuleles I've had. Other ukuleles I've had, I basically can put my hand around the neck one and a half times. But um, the thing that is difficult and yet rewarding is the fact that just getting out there and sharing what you have with others can be a reward in and of itself. And yes, I made quite a few blunders, but that's just part and parcel of the process. And because of the fact that I don't generally want to put myself out in front of other people it, it helps it's sort of a learning and or growing process for me and whether or not I actually do anything beyond where I'm at is something that's yet to be seen but this is basically a, a short talk on not feeling like you've come to the place where you're now a master before you share what you have with others. And I mean, yes, it is quite, I'll use the word embarrassing. It's not really embarrassing. It's just, you just laugh at it and say, okay, sorry about that, you guys. I kind of waffled that one a little bit, but. I think that it's something that keeps the desire or the, um, I guess you would say, motivation to become excellent even greater because the people at the assisted living facility are, for all intents and purposes, they're shut in from the world. Uh, they are allowed to go family members can take them places and whatnot, but as a general rule of thumb, they're not really able to access public spaces and domains like we can. They can't just walk somewhere. And so they were very appreciative and even asked me to do beyond what I was planning on doing. And it just felt good that I could impart some happiness and joy to them and the motivation that I have is still, you know, yeah, get out there and do it. 
you know, I'm still playing on the stage at the church, and they're forgiving of me uh, because there's a lot of chords that I just don't know how to play. I look them up, I try to find the easiest way to play the chord, but when you're playing a song that uh, has a higher tempo, you have to be able to change those chords fast, and they have to be accurate. Um, the D chord, if you have larger fingers, is, is a somewhat of a difficult chord because, especially when you're playing a G going to a D, your fingering position, you have to slide your finger down the string, and on my guitar, the 12 string, it's very easy to be pressing the string correctly, but because there's two strings that are next to each other, I may not be pressing one of the two correctly, and it will still sound dull and buzzy. So it's a process of learning that I am continuing, and I see in the near future, as I begin to accomplish more and more in regards to my home environment, uh, I really want to dedicate more of my time to practice. And yes, if you are playing a guitar or a ukulele or a banjo or anything of that nature, you are going to be very frustrated at times. You're going to feel like throwing your instrument in the garbage. You're going to feel like, why am I even trying this? I'm making a fool out of myself. But... If your mo motivation is to do something excellent with what you know, I think you'll be all right. And for me, imparting it to others, even though I'm not going to record an album, there's no way that I would do that right now, but I just feel a motivation and I just felt I'd share my thoughts on my process and hopefully it can be something that can encourage you if you're in the same struggle. Uh, playing music is a very rewarding thing. It's beautiful and you can really release your creativity. And that's something that I don't often get to do is to use my creativity. It's something that I feel is going to be a benefit as I begin to get older to keep my mind sharp. Maybe I'll come to a point where I won't be able to play a, a guitar or ukulele because my hands don't work. I'm still going to be involved in some way. Even if it means I play open chords on an open neck, I'll still do something. Okay, I uh, just thought I would jump in and uh, give my thoughts uh, while the experience of the day is fresh in my mind. And... Going to keep on keeping on and keep on moving toward the right direction in the journey. And there you go. Okay, until next time, I'll see you all later.